guys, welcome to another edition of the Mile High Muscle Talk Show. Dylan was just telling me how to do this. I was. I was telling her, I just said, you know, silly me and shit. I, he's like, she does all the talking, and then he starts yakking. I, anyway, it's Sunday morning, it's July 5th, so I don't know. Did you watch fireworks? Or? I did. I or were there fireworks at your place? I don't know. I watched the fireworks. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I was with my kid. Your mom now. I'm a mom, so. And Newlywed, right. yeah. That's where our tans are from. Yeah. Go cowbo action. So, anyway, we're doing legs, and actually, I spy all kinds of uh, Colorado State athletes, uh, USA athletes, so it's going to be a good good leg workout this yeah, you morning. Know, you know, I was driving and I was thinking about all the athletes in training here. So, uh, uh, Candace. I mean, look, and I'm going to Pamela, Heather today. Grace. I mean, yeah, and it's cool. Lift, if if you, you I mean, the leg room at Armbrust is world renowned, first of all. So, yeah, like you said, mid workout, here comes a Lena Popa, right? Yeah. So, oh, we got never know what's going to happen right today. Right <laughs> <laughs> and Sarah Early, right here on yeah, camera. Hey, Sorry. hey, <laughs> hey. All right, so come with us. This short. You guys want to make sure you have a full range of motion. Really squeeze at the top. So draw those heels into the seat. It's all those little things that add up to be big things. Nice. Go. I think what's important to note, Dylan can talk about it too, is uh, we talked about this before, but so many people say, but I want to get big. So I'm gonna do like eight to ten reps. I don't know about you, but it's pretty, pretty fucking hard to get a good pump and to get a with proper form doing eight to ten reps or consistently, right? Or doing that on a regular basis. Maybe you throw that workout in. Ball, 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 ball. Ball, you. Volume. Think about that. Get it? Like sweat volume. <laughs> get to bigger. Get bigger. Get better. Get better. <laughs> <laughs> So that's why we do 20 reps. So, did you see that Kira Newman? She won the women's league Chicago Pro. Right. She was a bodybuilder. Yeah, it's actually surprising. I don't know if that, what that says about women's physique. I feel like you're getting bigger. Do you feel like that? Skin. Bigger and harder. Always better. Back to this. <laughs> Back to this. And you know, I was, uh, do you see the pictures of uh, John De La Rosa and, yeah. and Michael Lockett? What do you think of that? I thought it was good. I watched the video on it. So the only thing that I. Everybody thought it was going to be young way. I disagree. John's waist is smaller. Is that right? Yeah, I yeah, agree. So I like the call. I agree. Oh. His Lockett's conditioning was better, but I, I think John I was just flat. He was I a little flat through that midsection. I like, I like, I like it's pretty better too. Yeah. So uh, Kevin Jordan ended up fourth. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it was his pro debut. I thought that was. Yeah. You know, at least he's competing. At least guys turn pro. Yeah. He competes anymore. So. And you know, I gotta say that I, you know I'm a big Brad Rowe fan just because I think he's a great guy. But Brad Rowe is, I think he's competed six times. Yeah. And uh, and he and Kevin turned pro the same show. Right. So. Yeah, jump in, right? Yeah. Dylan, talk about the fans. First of all, we're talking about Sarah Jill's got a direct connection between her heels and her tailbone, so she's driving completely through the hips, put right through the thighs. A lot of people press on their toes. It's too much pressure. Domination, yeah. I got a band up here for assistance. Ease the tension on the knees, the lower part of the rep. Makes it all my tendon, and that's what you're really looking for. Body yeah. 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 So. You need more weight, right? No. What? Good for this set. Oh my god. Okay. I get asked a lot about stance. Well, what's typically you want a standard stance? So straight forward. You don't want the toes in or out. 
straight forward. Obviously, you're going 90, maybe just a hair below 90 degrees. This is lightweight. He doesn't need his butt. What's your body type right now? What? Oh, yeah. What's your body type right now? Do you know? A lot of Hammer. Where? I went over to Aaron's. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. Mr. Lippitt, though, was there. Yeah, oh, right on. Phil looks huge, looks great. Does he? Real happy. Yeah. He was doing great, so. Yeah. So, is his crazy. weight up? He was huge. He looked huge. He was huge. Yeah. Candace was there. Nice. She looked yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah. So Candace Lewis, yeah. Phil Heath. Yeah. At a friend of, a friend of ours, uh, a little barbecue, so. Yeah. It was a good time. Yeah. Good people. Hot up. I mean, and that's what's crazy. I always forget in Colorado, like, how many pros are just, like, cruising around in here at a barbecue. Like, we really get spoiled. Yeah. You know, Barry's cousin's in town from London. Yeah. And, I mean, just the accessibility to supplements, the prices, um, good gyms. He's saying there's not many gyms over there that are open 24 hours. I mean, you know what I mean? He said they'll open at like 7 and close at 9 or 10. I mean, it's crazy. So, we're, we're so lucky. Yeah. Yes, I wrap my knees in three plates. Oh, man. I have no... Nothing left in my knees. Adam's gonna kick me. Did you get a shot of these two over here? Yeah. Adam Young, David Lindbergh, for the Colorado State USA. Go. Get back here, Bailey McGrath. Bailey with the USA coming off a strong finish at the international. Yeah. Second place, junior. Yes. Mr. Mr. Pro Car by one. Ah, oh, I know. I one cup of the man. One point, right? Right here, one point. <laughs> uh, that was equal to my okay. sick table with almond butter at six weeks now. Oh. <laughs> Y'all think us coaches don't know. No. Now that we're done with this, yeah. are you ready for me to show you a few of the ladies exercises? Is that like the adductor machine and stuff? <laughs> no. Yes, no. The yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, Let's go do it's, some it's the extra work that women have to do for our booty. Let's do it. Okay. I'm game. So, so straight leg deadlifts are a great exercise, obviously, for the glute hamstring tie-in. Problem is, right, not many people do it correctly. So you start seeing like a rounded back instead of that flat back. I also think people sit back on their heels. You really want to be mid-foot. So I actually saw this not long ago. It's a really great way. Not everybody has this machine. Obviously, you can do it in your standard, you know, in the squat rack, but I actually think this is a great way to keep proper form on your straight leg deadlift. So you're going to bend the knees to grab it. Extension that's going to actually take tension off the muscle. Clearly, if you're doing power lifting, you're trying to lift as heavy as possible, right? Here, you want to stay in that work zone. So, I always coach kind of mid shin, just below the knee, to about mid thigh. That way, you keep constant tension on the muscle. It's a little different concept, 
But as bodybuilders, we're looking at aesthetics, not necessarily how much you can lift. So there's no movement in the knees, right? They stay rock solid. He's mid-footed, back is straight. You always want to be mindful of where you look is where your spine goes. So if you were to look down, you're going to get a rounded spine. Let's go, go, go. Five. Go. Hook. One more, go. Eight. So Dylan has a little groin injury. He has a little groin injury from the wedding. He, uh, first of all, the paddle, like we did that stand up, stand up paddle boarding, which is awesome, by the way. And the guy there thought Dylan was a uh, branch warren. Yeah. A little off, but little I mean, off. close. Very yeah, nice compliment. <laughs> nice compliment. Yeah. But you know, he's Mexican, so. <laughs> he doesn't know. So, how'd you uh, hurt your groin then? Okay. Just like Part straddling the thing? Off the <laughs> Tried to get back on the paddle board. You gotta swing that leg over. Before I became shark bait. <laughs> <laughs> I literally swung my leg Yo. over way too hard. And I had one of those Chinese kicks over here. <laughs> yeah. So we could talk now about the importance of yoga and stretching, but maybe we'll leave that for another time. Yeah. Another time. So guys, I'm cooked, right? I was doing 15 reps that last set. So sometimes, if I feel like I'm just not strong on that last set, I'll drop it down and now I'm gonna go 30 reps. So I'm still gonna get a killer burn. We're talking about the volume, right? Um, but that way, I just feel more comfortable, I feel safer, and I'm not, there's no chance for injury, but a, definitely a killer burn. Right there, come on. Two, come on, three. Burn them up. Burn them. Uh, oh, shit. Ah. Ay, yeah, yeah. Bye. We left those girls uh, exercises. Yeah. Sorry, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. Put one more on over. Anyway. Yeah, I'm do some manly stuff. Squat. That's why I use my manly weight here. One point. So, see if I can remember how to squat. I really have not free squatted since. We did a few weeks ago. That was about two months ago. Oh, was it? And then before that was like probably a year ago. So, don't laugh, all right? Workout. If you time it wrong, it can be bad. Yep. So what are you? I'm doing a um, Carnagen EVP right now, and then I'm starting my Glycogen so I can start putting these muscles back on. Yeah, Glycogen's a great brand. I've used yeah. it for years. Yeah. What are you Still doing now? I'm using the. Oh, I'm doing the Bio Grow too. Bio Grow and Bio Grow for my story. Yeah. I seem to really like that. I kind of use it to transform my body. Yeah. To a healthier look this year and uh. Really working well. It's always good to change your products up every here and there. For sure. Yeah. Stay away from watch the stimulants, you guys. People go crazy with those. Yeah. Yeah. That's my only two cents. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, I'll watch. It's probably squatting easier than I do. Let's go, Sarah. Yeah. Breathe deep in the chest. One. Come on. Two. Awesome. Three. I hate being out of shape. I will get better. See, third best in the world has. Rough days. Yeah, well, 
I can't use a baby thing anymore, can I? He's eight months. You got a few months. Yeah. I turned 40. Uh, I slept funny. Uh, I have gas. No, I'm just But the point is the excuses go on and on, so you just gotta work harder and get better, that's all. up and I'm going to kind of go to a machine here and work my legs one at a time because I suffer from you know a real bad knee injury so I'm trying to keep the strength even in my legs and you should do it whether you have injury or not you guys got one leg that's dominant so it's nice to use hammer machines isolateral machines where you can make sure that strength stays even within the body keeping the form the same bodybuilding is really a, a sport of focus and you know, mentality sharpness, so keeping your mentality sharp. So, to do that, you've got to be aware of your body. And Sarah's going to do the same thing over there with some step back lunges, more of like it's kind of like you know, more toning stuff for women. And you got to stay here and power movements stuff, guys. Like, stick to. So, we get started. Starting with my weak leg first, and uh, really try to stay focused. And, Really focus on the muscle movement more than the press itself. Push more and more blood into the muscle. It's relatively light, but when you hurt as bad as I do, you need to warm up. Close form, slow and controlled. I watch so many bodybuilders day after day just move weights without any, you know any mental focus at all to it and they go nowhere so you know the mental aspect is so important okay guys um dylan did the one leg press which is great if i were a female i would superset it with lunges i always do back lunges because for two reasons um it takes the weight out of the knees Okay? And there's more of a focus or ability to focus on the glutes, which is of course what everybody, all the ladies want, big booties, okay? So, I'm just gonna do alternating. This is lightweight, just to show you. Um, you can do this on the Smith machine. I like doing it with free weights, but just an alternating back lunge. Whoever said to not touch your knee to the ground was a liar, and they had an ugly butt, okay? So, touch your knee to the ground. Don't, don't slam it, but get as low as possible, okay? Alternating is good for almost like a cardio superset, or you can just do a one leg. More focus, obviously, on the leg versus the cardio aspect. Sometimes I'll do this for a minute, or count 15 to 20 a side. Obviously, more weight when possible, Smith machine, you can do it too. Right on. All right, so, I mean, it's not bad for a little guy. Kind of grainy, old man muscle. <laughs> All right, I'm doing Dylan's weight, but you know, I, I didn't want to, you know. <laughs> no shame. I'll do 22. <laughs> Come on, get him. show this is my little son Quincy say hi son he loves the cameras <laughs> he's watching the boys in the background yeah you do have to see can you see his quads 
They're they're pretty they're pretty uh pretty impressive. So this is my pride and joy right here. He's he's worth all the uh, 50 pounds I had to lose. Um, hormone. Oh oh. He's getting excited. Yeah. Oh. See, this is a good sign. He's getting excited about the leg room. <laughs> check those quads out. <laughs> yeah. He's getting excited about the leg room. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> up guys work out mile high muscle show that's what it's gonna be about every week we'll train something different train something different you guys come on the show and train with somebody techniques. new Maybe yeah give us some of ours and uh keep it entertaining along the way so anybody out there give a shout to uh, myself or dylan you know how to find us yeah. if you guys want to train with us um you want to be on the show peace till next time